What's up, freaks? It's Dex here. Today we're checking out Vital Force, a first-person indie horror game in which you use the camera on your phone to defeat and destroy monsters. Wait a second. This seems a little bit too familiar, doesn't it? I don't know what it is, but I can't put my finger on it. Nope, this isn't it. I mean, it's pretty damn close, but it's not it. I mean, similarities are uncanny, but I don't think this is it. Think harder, think harder, think harder. Got it. Fatal Frame. Duh, of course, right? In Fatal Frame, you use a camera to capture and destroy a ghost. Then Dread Out is coming out. That's pretty much like a sole successor to the Fatal Frame series. But it's more advanced for a modern day audience. You use the camera on your phone instead to capture and destroy the ghost. And now we got Vital Force, which is pretty much like the knockoff Dread Out. Hmm. So, can't be too bad, right? I mean, the Fatal Frame games are pretty fucking badass. Dreadout looks pretty fucking cool. And now we have Vital Force, which is pretty much the same concept as both of those games. Now, I gotta be honest. I did not find this game by myself. A friend of mine was half drunk one night. He started scrolling through the most popular indie games. He got somewhere in the three to 500 range, and he ran into this. And he told me about it. I immediately switched from my PS3 to my Xbox, because I was talking to him at a party through my Xbox. And I just downloaded this game immediately. And you know what? I was pretty damn impressed and pretty damn scared. For starter, the game looks pretty good. Especially for an indie game. That's been, happen that's been happening a lot lately. I guess indie games are getting better graphic engines. But there are a few sections where the game is just way too damn dark. It's mainly in long hallways. Your flashlight barely illuminates anything that's in front of you. But you can avoid it by sticking close to the wall and working your way down. Unlike Fatal Frame and Dreadout, you're not just facing ghosts. Matter of fact, there's only like two ghosts in this entire game. It's the evil looking little girl who looks like a cardboard cutout. Then there's the giant floating head that also looks like a cardboard cutout. You'll be facing some spiders, a few scorpions, and some hands just like to like reach out of the ground at you. And I'm guessing the main character must have an evil spirits app because your phone will light up red every time there's an enemy near you. I like the controls in this game, they're simple, easy to use, and your character doesn't move painfully slow like other indie games I've played. There's also an inventory system, but you only use it whenever your phone dies you have to replace it with a new battery, or if you get hurt, which is pretty rare because you only get hurt by the ghost when they take you by surprise. And there aren't many puzzles in this game, matter of fact there's only like one actual puzzle, and there's like two locked doors that you find a key for, and that's about it. Story is nothing special. We've seen it a million times over. You wake up, you don't know where you are, you start exploring, and you gotta escape. That's about it. The game is actually longer than I anticipated. I figured at least 15 to 20 minutes. This game could actually push you to about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long it takes you to, you know, wander around aimlessly in the dark. This game mainly relies on jump scares, and there are quite a few. It will happen almost instantaneously. You'll be walking around, minding your business. You you know the screen turns a bright flash of red. You hear your character scream, and the music will start picking up. Next thing you know, you got beef with some spooky ghost girl, or a spider, or a scorpion, or some hands out of the ground. You're gonna fight something. <clears throat> then you gotta take two or three pictures of them, and that's it. The game isn't really that hard, but it is pretty fun. This game wasn't that bad. It was worth the $1 spent on it. And if you're looking for a cheap scare, this will do it. Or you better yet, just download the free trial of this, and you'll get the same effect. But you could also get Fatal Frame or Dread Out. The longer and scarier. Unless you're broke. Then get this. The free trial. It's free. Not the game. Just a trial. I gotta edit this out. I'm not going to. Alright, freaks. Thanks for watching. I'm Tex. I'll catch you next time.